Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. <clears throat> Thanks. So right now I'm going to watch the finale for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I put this off for a little bit just because some things went on with me, so I wasn't able to watch this, but I've been looking forward to it. I've been trying to avoid, well, I have. I've avoided all social media about it. I saw a couple of people's posts, but I didn't ever get allow myself to get into, to, to like read further into the details about what happened in the episode. I know it's, I, I'm pretty sure, I mean, that uh, Sam becomes Captain America. He was meant to. So that makes sense. But that's all I know. So, because it makes sense. Episode 5 showed that pretty much. That's what's going to happen. But yeah, so this one's called One World, One People. As the Flag Smashers escalate their efforts, Sam and Bucky take action. Okay. So here's the finale. I'm sure this is going to be amazing. Here we go. There's a fly flying around right now. So if it lands on me, I might... <laughs> <laughs> I might laugh or something or itch my head. <laughs> okay, you guys, thank you so much. If you like what I'm doing here on my channel, if you like my reaction to this video, would you please go ahead and give me a thumbs up? I would really appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for being here. All right, let's go ahead and watch this now. The finale to The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, season one, episode six. There is a no-fly zone in effect, and the NYPD has the area secured for the moment. Wow. I'm almost there. Falcon. What's the plan? Bucky. I'm calling in some backup. Excuse me, sir. Are you supposed to be here? Who's that? Oh, wow. Very cool. Relax, no one's looking for me here. Unfortunately. Hey Sam, I thought I'd get the band back together. <laughs> You're risking a lot coming here. Yeah. I hear pardons aren't all they're cracked up to be anyway. Depends on the therapist. They're gonna move on the building soon. She's really risking a lot by going there. Wow, that's right. She's not supposed to be in this country. Oh god. Yeah! Yeah, Sam. Oh, respect, respect, respect. Sharon, Bucky, what's going on on your end? <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, who are you? He's can't eat exactly. <laughs> Guys, like, who are you? I'm Captain America. Yes. Oh. It cost me a lot of money. I wonder how much I can get for your new bird costume. Maybe a baguette, a few french fries. <laughs> get him, Sam. Hey, Carly. Aren't you tired of fighting for the wrong side, Mr. Barnes? I've done this before, kid. I know how it ends. It doesn't matter if I don't survive this. I'm fighting for something bigger than myself. And with all the bodies you've collected, have you ever been able to say the same? You don't think I ever fought for something bigger than myself? Yes, you have. He has. Exactly. I... Yeah, Bucky. Carly, Bucky has fought for things bigger than himself. I get why Carly's doing what she's doing, but she is killing innocent people too, you know, in her fight for justice. So it's kind of like, I don't know. Oh my, oh man, Sam, come on. Sam, use the shield, man, take it out. You're gonna remember all the ones you killed. Trust me. You will, Carly. Don't do this. Don't go down this path. Listen to him. I wish Carly would listen to Bucky. Hostages in route. ETA, six minutes. Oh my, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. Oh, she attached that little thing to him. It's probably like a tracker. She was holding that thing in her hand, then she bumped into him. That's gotta be a tracker. Tracking device. Oh! 
Well, oh, oh, I, I guess not. It was something that just killed him. Well, that's one down. Okay. Wow. Mercury vapor. Mercury vapor. Whoa. <laughs> okay, good. Yes, use that. Use that shield. Oh, man. Okay, uh, this is a super soldier that you're fighting, Sam. Oh, man, come on. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Okay. About eight to ten minutes out. Now he has to go after the, the chopper. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Red Wing. See if anyone in there has flight training. Worst case scenario, we kill the hostages. Kill the hostages? Carly? Either way, our message gets out to the world. You can't keep killing innocent people, Carly. One world. One oh, world. nobody's listening to her. One people. One people. One people. Oh, wow, they all hesitated there. Huh. Yeah, I think they realize that she's going a little too far. Oh, whoa, whoa. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Bucky. Well, I can't believe, you know what, Carly, Carly, Carly's going way too far now, in my opinion. Oh man, he can't get the door open. Oh no. I just want the people on that truck. She just wants the people in that truck because she thinks they're the guilty ones. Okay, I get it. Those are the people that she sees as being guilty. But still, I just, I can't get, I can't get behind what she's doing. Wow, look at this thing. He got it open. Oh man. John, you are never going to be able to beat these super soldiers. Oh, wait, wait. John took the serum. So he is a super soldier now. He has the abilities as the same abilities now as the other super soldiers because he took the serum, right? Yeah. He has the same strength. Oh my god, look at this. It's like Bucky one on how many? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh! Jeez. That woman in the middle right there, she's able to fly that helicopter, right? Isn't that what showed when, when Sam flew his little guy in? Put in your earbuds, okay. Exactly. Oh, oh! Oh! Oh, man. Oh! Boy, you just earned this ass whooping! <laughs> ass 
ass whooping. Wow. Wow. Oh, I got shivers. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, look at the strength he's got because he took the serum. Wow. Oh, oh. What is she doing? She just, oh, really? You know what, Carly, you're, I don't like you anymore. I used to not completely disagree with what you were doing, but now, you know what, you, you know what? You crossed the line. What's going on with John here? John, you gotta save that, save that truck. Come on. Yes, yes, John. Good. You're doing the right thing. Good. No, Carly, get, no, they're all gonna try to. No way, he just tried to save it. They wouldn't let him save it. Awesome, awesome, Sam. Good. <sighs> Thank God. John, when it drops, you grab that truck. Oh no, okay, it's up there already. Okay, good. Okay, good. Awesome. Good job, Sam. The Black Falcon. That's Captain America. <laughs> Nice. Good. I want to see Bucky, Sam, and John all fight together now. You of all people bought into that bullshit. I'm trying something different. Maybe you should do the same. Who's who's doing that? Is this the military or something? Or is this Carly's people? Oh no, it's... Wait, who just dropped all those smoke bombs? Or smoke canisters, whatever. Hey, Sharon. We're underground. We enter the tunnel, William, we're heading south. Look at the three of these guys are together. Good. Looks like they split up. Here. I got it. I'm glad that John has, you know, taken Sam and Bucky's side. He's doing the right thing now. <sighs> Drop your weapon, Carly. I'm disappointed in you. That's what I was gonna say. What? She's part of it? Whoa. So you're the power broker. Wow. Holy cow. Tu vas devoir me payer quatre fois ce que tu me devais. Je vais dire au monde entier qui tu es vraiment, OK? Oh my god. I don't do blackmail. Oh, oh my gosh. You have to fight her, Sam. You have to. She's not going to listen. Like, she's not listening. I know Sam wants to do the right thing. I know, but it, look at Carly, though. She's, I mean... No. Exactly. 
The app says it's this way. Mercy bears richer fruit than strict justice. It's a great app. <laughs> Good one, you guys. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Lincoln? Really? Great man. Great quote. Not when you say it. <laughs> Sam, you gotta take- oh my gosh. He's trying to save you, Carly! You're being like, what an idiot! He's actually trying to save your life! I'm sorry, Sam. I know you tried to save her, but it's like she didn't want to be saved. Is she still alive? I mean, she has the serum inside of her. Will she survive those shots? I mean, I hope she survives. What happened to the flag smashers? When does the government make you Captain America? What are we calling out? Is it still about? Is it Captain Hell? Here's the media. Shut up. The media. Sincerely, you did your part in dealing with those terrorists. Now we'll do ours. Oh, God. You have to stop calling them terrorists. Yes. Look, I get it. But you have no idea how complicated... Well, complica it is a complicated situation. It is. This isn't about easy decisions, Senator. You just don't understand. Oh, come I'm on. I'm a black man carrying the stars and stripes. What don't I understand? Yeah. I know there are millions of people out there who are going to hate me for it. Even now, here. I feel it. We don't. We love you, Sam. demand that people step up and we don't meet them halfway yeah you control the banks shit you can move borders yeah you, know, you can feed a million people with the phone call exactly who's in the room with you when you're making those decisions is it the people you're going to impact or is it just more people like you right i mean this girl died trying to stop you so carly died a vision that was planted I love this. He's like, Sam's like, Captain America and the Falcon all combine into one. <laughs> He's like, he can fly as Captain America. It's so cool. I love that. One world, one people. Oh God, look at that. Man, it's not over. Oh! My gosh. Was that Carly's people? Four members of the radical group, the Flag Smashers, were killed today in a car bomb attack. It was. Wow. The group had opposed the global relocation efforts of the GRC, who just this week had announced changes in their overall policies. Well, it was. It was Zemo's guy that did it. <laughs> Looks like our friend Zemo. Connor got the last laugh. Yeah, he did. We're gonna need a U.S. agent. That's great. Keep your phone on. Oh, God. Back, 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 back! Oh, man. That's disappointing. What are you doing here? It's not Wednesday. Oh, is he gonna tell him the truth? I have to tell you something. Oh, he is. Oh my. About your son. Oh God. 
He was murdered by the Winter Soldier. And that was me. <laughs> Why? I didn't have a choice. Oh, Bucky. Oh my gosh. He did all of them. He did everything he promised to do with his therapist. I finished the book. Oh, Bucky. What you want, Black Falcon? Hey, you need to learn some manners. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you're special. Thank you. You are. I mean, you ain't a special Malcolm Sam. Martin. Oh. Uh. <laughs> but. No argument there. <laughs> so, a black Captain America, huh? Yep. Oh my God! No way. <laughs> Give him respect. <laughs> now they'll never forget what you they did for this country. They actually honored him. Never. <laughs> Bucky. <laughs> uh, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so awesome. Wow. That was excellent. I don't know if there's a post-credit scene here. I don't think so, but... I'm just going to keep this, my TV on in case I see one. Um, that was so good. Uh, let me just actually wait to the post credit scene here and then I'll just do my wrap up right after. Okay. Cause if there is one here, these shows always have it. Marvel's always got one. So let's just see here. I'd like to offer you and your family our sincerest apologies. The Carter name has always been synonymous with service and trust. Today we begin to set things right. We begin to repay some of the debt that is owed to you. Thank you, Senator. I've been waiting to hear those words for a long time. And we'd like to offer you a full pardon. Wow. Welcome home, Agent Carter. Okay, that's not good, because she's the power broker. Whoa. Start lining up our buyers. Super soldiers might be off the menu, but we're about to have full access to government secrets, prototype weapons, you name it. Should be something for everyone. Oh, man. Wow. Harsh. Okay, yeah, that's not good, obviously. She's uh, the power broker, and she's um, now she's got her, her job back working for the government. She's going to have access to everything. Unbelievable. That's, I loved this show. This last episode was excellent. This this show started off. It started off like a little little slow for me. Even I liked it. I liked it right from the beginning, but it started off like a little tiny slow for me. And then each episode that kept going kept getting better and better and better, and the tension kept building and building and building. And 
this show is so spectacular because the 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 chemistry between Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan is to me is like it's the stuff that it's been so many great films from the 80s and 90s specifically that I can think of had so many great like duos that worked well together. I haven't invented any time machine. Read them and weep. <laughs> you put your own shit in the back. I'm not a sky cat. Hey, hey, I'm serious, man. It ends right here. Either you break it off or you get your ass reassigned because I'm not going down with you. It's a shiny dick with two chairs in it. I guess we the balls just dragging the fuck along. When's your birthday? April. Don't think about it. I have the right to a guns falling into the hands of roofers. You have the right to the yourself. beverage of they your choice in the gone. precinct coffee shop. You see what he did? Call for help and you'll live. But you'll be disfigured. Or you can put yourself out of your own misery. Come on. Their chemistry was so great. They're funny. It's like it. It's like they're friends. They're friends in real life. It's not just that they're acting like that. And they're so comfortable together too. I love seeing these guys together. I love, love, love Anthony Mackie, and I love, love, love Sebastian Stan. And seeing them together like this as a team was just. They're so perfect for these roles and to be together in this show. I love it. It's amazing. Um, I always thought right from the get-go that Sam was supposed to be kept in America because I thought that Steve had left the shield for him. And so that was just my feeling right from the beginning of this series that that's, that he was going to be kept in America it was obvious to me. Um, that's why when I, when I saw the first, first or second episode, I was like, who's this John Walker guy? I was like, what? It didn't make any sense to me. I didn't, I didn't get that. Um, I'm a little disappointed in the end here because I did I did want to see I actually did want to see Bucky, Sam and John become friends and team up. I did want to see John Walker uh fight with them and be on their side because it's like John is John has definitely got psychological issues. I totally get that like he does. Hands down he does. Um and the serum has brought some of that out. Well, it's brought that side of him out, which isn't good, you know. But I do believe in my heart that there's another side of John that's not a bad person, not a bad guy, and that, you know, he was a soldier for so many years, and I think as a result of him being a soldier for so many years, that he's he's got some serious psychological issues and PTSD from fighting for America's wars. So, you know, I, it's weird because I know that, you know, I, I, I have friends that have been in the military, and, you know, it's some people come back fighting and they're okay and some people come back from fighting in wars and they're never okay they're never the same and so there's part of me that feels compassion for John you know a little bit but there's part of me that's like this guy's he's a crazy lunatic too so I feel both I'm like torn um but I was really hoping that he was gonna like stand with Captain America and the Winter Soldier you know, as like part of their team. And it's unfortunate that he's not going to do that now. So that's disappointing. I didn't, I didn't, wasn't particularly happy with that part of the show, but um, obviously that's going to get super intense in the second season. We're going to see what role he plays now. It's obviously a villain. And because Julia Louis-Dreyfus, she's got her, her, she's got her own agenda going on. I, I don't even know what her agenda is yet. Well, actually, no, it sounds like she wants to take out Captain America for what reason, I don't know. Like, I don't get that. We need a Captain America. I mean, maybe she just doesn't... Is she, like, the head of Vought from the show The Boys, where she just wants to create, you know, superheroes or, or these people that have taken, um, like, super soldiers that are just, like, evil villains? Is that is that her M.O.? I mean, maybe. I don't really know. I'm not sure. All I know is that we need Sam, and we needed Sam to be Captain America. He's Captain America, and we, he's got, it's like, it's this really weird thing, like, when he was saying, um, you know, at the end there, when he was talking, and he was saying, um, you know, here I am, a black man, and I'm Captain America, and there are a lot of people that don't want me to, don't want to see that, and I, it's, it's like, it's, it's weird for me to think about that, because I don't, like, who cares? Like, I don't, eh, gr I'm glad he's black. You know what I mean? Like, like, 
it doesn't it's just like it's for for anybody to be bothered by that it seems very weird to me that they'd be bothered by him being captain america and being black so it's just like um it's just yeah i mean it just i don't get it personally i mean i i understand that it's it's that this is going on i'm not denying that 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 this kind of stuff exists that people don't want to see uh captain america be black but it's just like why it's just it's it's just i don't know it just seems really ridiculous to me um sam's meant to be captain america he was meant to be captain america right after steve was gone like that's his job that's like who he is he is that he is that you know he's the savior of you know america like what he's gonna be there doing what needs to be done um and bucky's gonna be right there by his side and you know these two guys as a team like this is so important we need them i know this is not a real show but we need them in real life too <laughs> that is my opinion um anyways yeah i really really enjoyed this i was very sad that carly Carly died. She had definitely crossed the line. She had gone too far. She she had, um, and I I understood her plight in the beginning of this show and even in the middle of this this series. I understood why she was doing what she was doing. And I'll I know I'm repeating myself, but like I said, like one person's uh, freedom fighter is another person's terrorist, you know. And so with Carly even though she was fighting for what she believed was right and partly what I thought was justified, there was another part of me that was like, no, it's not okay what she's doing. She's along the way, she's picking and choosing who she thinks deserves to live or die and saying that certain people are innocent, certain people are guilty. And while I don't completely, I didn't completely disagree with her, and as what Sam was saying at the end right there when he was talking and speaking to that that council of people, the senators, you know, what he was saying it makes perfect sense. Yeah. You know? But also what the senator said made some sense to me too. You know, it's like there's there's a lot for them to talk about and to work out and it's not it's not a straightforward situation. It's it's not it's not just going to be like that. It's going to be cut and dry like that. Like it's going to be there's a lot of stuff they have to consider here. Um so I don't know. I mean, I, I'm excited for the next season for sure. Now that it's Captain America and the Winter Soldier. I love that. Um, I'm excited to see how it turns out. I'm a little sad that Bucky, you know, he doesn't have those friends anymore. That, um, that older man, the elderly man who Bucky murdered his son. He doesn't have him anymore as a friend. And he doesn't have that, um, that woman anymore as a potential you know girlfriend or partner he went on one date with her and you know I don't think she's going to speak to him anymore either because now she knows that she probably knows that Bucky murdered that man's son and that man's a regular in her restaurant I don't know I don't know if they're related or if they just go to the same restaurant together um but yeah I do feel a little bit um feel a little sad for 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 Bucky because he has Sam Sam's his best friend um, but besides Sam, I feel like Bucky doesn't really have anybody, you know? And yeah, it's pretty frightening, um, about Sharon, cause she's definitely not their friend. I mean, that's, that's a whole other thing right there. It's pretty frightening. Holy cow. Anyways, yeah, I love this show, you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me to watch the finale to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It was awesome. I loved this journey. Thank you for tuning in with me every week to watch it. It was great, great fun, great fun, great fun. I wonder when the uh, next season will be coming out. But this time it's Captain America and the Winter Soldier, not Falcon. It's sort of funny how they keep calling him Black Falcon. So cute. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you like what I'm doing, would you go ahead and hit the subscribe button? You can also hit the bell. The bell will let you know when I'm uploading new content. It will notify you. And I'm over on Patreon if you want to join me there. I do all of my full reactions there, full watch alongs with no edits whatsoever. I've watched The Mandalorian, WandaVision, uh, The Boys, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and a ton of feature films. And like I said, everything over there has no, uh, no edits whatsoever. And if you join at a certain tier, you can make a special request for a movie that I will watch. 
99.999% of the time I will watch it. <laughs> and uh, I'm over on, I'm, I'm on social media too, on Instagram and Twitter if you want to join me there. Just tell me that you're, just let me know that you're subscribed to me here on YouTube. Let me know on one of my posts and I'll be sure to follow you back. Take care wherever you are in the world. Be safe. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you so much for joining me to watch this fantastic show and to watch Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan be this amazing duo. I love these guys so much. It's awesome. Take care, you guys. Thank you.